Again, uh, this is MCC Let's Talk. I'm Alex. That's Ryan over here. Hello, hello, hello. And our guest today, his name is also Alex. Alex? <laughs> How's it going? Uh, my name's Alex. Get, uh, just you have to get a little bit closer to you when you talk. Sorry about that, man. It's one of those. Fun. Yeah, it's yeah. just one of those mics. <laughs> yeah, so every time you get, just get closer whenever you talk, right? Like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so what, what's your name again? Uh, my name's Alex. Uh, I'm a student here at MCC. All right, so Alex, uh, you're a student here. What are you studying here at MCC? Uh, my current program in is uh, photography. So nice, I do a little man. bit of photography, a little bit of uh, business classes where I can uh, with uh, electives or gen eds. And then, uh, yeah. How are you liking it? I love it. Yeah, it's right down the road from my house. Uh, classes are pretty easy going. Teachers are good, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love your conversation with your te our teacher that we have, because we have class together. So uh, I love listening to him and our teacher talk. Uh, uh, we're not going to get into it, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And I love how open they are about everything. So it's like, that's the cool part about here. Again, MCC, and I keep promoting this school. The teachers here are actually pretty cool. You know, they, they're not really like the class. I don't feel like the classes are as big as maybe like your traditional universities where you got yeah. 40, 50 kids and there's no way for the teacher to personalize anything or, or get to know people. So it's just kind of a turn and burn. Exactly. Isn't that right, Ryan? Yeah, exactly. That's like, that's kind of how it is too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the cool part about here. It's like you get to meet a lot of interesting different people, especially the instructors here. And then our students, like one of our classmates from Brazil. Yeah. Right? I, I, I keep. Did uh, you guys I, interview her yet? Not yet. I keep wanting to get her on here, but like she just has an awesome story, you know. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. And, and you yourself, you have an interesting story yourself. I feel like it's pretty average. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, uh, let's let's talk about that. I mean, what's your kind of your background? You don't have to go really in depth. Just like the most like short. Uh, well, going all the way back to school, high school. Uh, didn't do well, didn't like it. Typical kind of military dude who was had a plan and just got through high school, right. got to the military, did that for a while, and then got out and uh, did the contracting thing for a while. And uh, that was fun, it paid the bills, um, but I was gone a lot. And so I decided that uh, I wanted to start a business. And yeah. so I've kind of started, my, I'm working on that now. And then uh, school, if you're a veteran, it, it's just kind of, crazy not to do if you're yeah. if you're a veteran it's it's a huge benefit it, it helps a lot a lot of the classes i'm taking are in order to help me with my business and then i also you have all the benefits from yeah. the gi bill well and again it's like a, uh i would encourage to try community college first let's get get those classes over and, done. and it's just like you feel a little bit more comfortable because it's such a small yeah group whereas some veterans they can't really handle big crowds and a lot of students because so, of you know some of the stuff maybe experienced in overseas you know just big crowds sometimes are like yeah like myself i hate big crowds like i just don't like it yeah i just the workload for me has been the nice part i don't know i don't i guess i've, I've never been to a traditional university i just have friends that have i have a buddy who's at um at a bigger university in south carolina right now actually and uh just listen to his his tests that he's got to study for and right. the classes he's taking the homework it's just i don't know if i can do all that <laughs> Honestly, yeah. yeah i've been there too where i've just heard friends talk about all their shit that they got to do for their I mean all the stuff that they got to do for their school and it's just like I could I could not I could not no I, I well that I, I got two kids and oh, so yeah, I've got absolutely. yeah I've got other things that I have to be tended to so my life is not school so I put what effort I, I've got into school and it's nice that I can still maintain exactly. I mean it's still yeah. really cool that you know even as a dad you're still able to go to school and yeah. continue your business I like that right yeah it's I mean it's tough it's a lot on my plate <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's just kind of compartmentalizing putting things where they need to be yeah that's awesome man <laughs> yeah I mean it just shows you that if you put your uh, heart and effort to you can do like, manage anything and do anything kind of thing you know you just have to yeah. find what you like to do I mean, like I, I, I really enjoy coming here because I love learning about photography and videography. If I did anything else, it's like, ugh, it's more of like, ugh, do I really want to be here type of situation. Exactly, yeah. yeah. 
like I want to be here over I have to be here is what you want to look for. Type You're here all the time, so yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised That's, by that answer. <laughs> yeah, this is actually true, though. Yeah, and then, you know, okay, now uh, you say you're going to be a business owner, you're an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about what that is and what your goals are with that? Yeah, so um, kind of going back to the military, um, I did that for a while. And then, like I said, I did the contracting thing for a while. So uh, I kind of wanted to step away from that. And I was like, <laughs> well, what skills do I really have that I can translate to the real world? I know I want to try to do something for myself, business for myself. Um, and, you know, I, I mean, you could go, I could go open a, a restaurant or a fast food, play, a chain, a franchise, something. But I was like, yeah, there's not really much passion in that. Mm -hmm. So I tried to look at, like, A, what am I passionate about? And B, what skills do I have and how can I create a successful business around that? So that's kind of how I stumbled into where I'm at now. Grew up uh, playing airsoft uh, as a kid. Stopped kind of playing it in the t my teenage years and then obviously in the military. But since then, you know, it's been 10 years or so. Since, since then, uh, airsoft guns themselves have come a long way. Um, I know this is a school thing, so I won't talk too much about guns. Right. Uh, but just the airsoft um, equipment itself is has really um, come a long way and allows for that realistic kind of authentic experience is what I'm kind of trying to capture for our, uh, right. our facility. But it's an indoor airsoft facility. So you'll have your traditional force-on-force -force stuff, and then uh, we'll have our little shoot house, which is for more individualized experience. We'll have night vision rental. The pro shop for people who don't have anything can kind of gear like gear themselves up, purchase right. stuff from us, uh, and then we'll also do training courses. All the tra most of the training courses are recreational. We'll do some stuff with law enforcement uh, a little bit later down the road, but for now, it's it's more or less just trying to keep it recreational, keep it fun, uh, but make sure it's authentic. People are kind of getting as close to the experience as what me and you kind of saw in the military. Just yeah. as far as training, I'm not trying to like put people into into war or train anybody yeah. for anything real crazy, but. Some of the training courses that I've been doing personally, and I'm sure you probably have the same experiences, uh, they're just, they're fun. Yeah. Uh, and we, we, there was more riding on the line for us when we were in, some of them were pass fail, some of mm -hmm. them were kind of reputation was on the line, so it was a lot more stressful, but I still had a good time. So I'm just trying to remove all that stress and then just give people that same kind of fun experience where yeah. they can they can have an outlet and, and whatnot. Yeah, to, just, just think of it as like a paintballing, but with like, doesn't hurt as much. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's not as messy because we're all indoor. Yeah, it's all indoor, yeah. fun. Uh, and, and you learn something. You actually did you, do learn. And you have to be open-minded about it because it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a fun experience for everybody, not just a certain group, but everybody. And that's the whole goal with this, just to bring everybody and just have, uh, I mean, can I say the equipment? Can I mention some of the equipment? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like MVGs, night vision goggles. So you get to put some of these on. and I. I'm sure the majority of the people here have never tried those anything yeah. like that on, and you put them on, you're like, wow, you're in a totally different world. And that's the cool part about his business. Like, I, I, I have yet to see anything like that out there with anybody doing that with the MVGs. Well, it's intimidating, and it's, it's tough. So uh, I've worked a lot with night vision goggles. I, I got to a pretty high level where I was using uh, very, very fancy night vision goggles, and uh, it's it, it's cool, it's fun. It yeah. was way easier than the stuff me and you were using in the, in the Marine Corps in the early days with the yeah. PVS-14, just a single tube. Uh, those things can get kind of tough, and it takes a lot of hours on those to actually become proficient with it. Yeah, um, Not a bad device, but it's just not ideal for someone who's never worn them before, so I kind of had to figure out how to create a uh, experience for somebody that it doesn't matter if they have any night vision experience or not as soon as they kit up and they go through the shoot house uh they're they're having a good time so yeah. comfort and function was was a, a big one so i, I kind of just had to take the leap and got the most expensive yeah. <laughs> stuff that, yeah. that's out there what, so, what does that sound like to you ryan that sounds pretty good to me, actually. Everything's pretty good. All the levels are... No, I'm talking about the, oh, the <laughs> sound? silly guy. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just more interested. In, like, how do you um, go about to um, buying a, you know, getting a building for this kind of place? Like, how do you go about to finding yeah. a good location for... Good question. Yeah. That was, that was actually, that's a good question. Cause, and I like, I'll be happy to talk about that. Because that, uh, that was something that, if I can pass my experience on with that, and somebody else who's maybe in the same position can get benefit from it, then that'd be, Sick, that'd be, yeah. that'd be what I want. Uh, but that was tough. That was probably one of the harder things. Uh, it was kind of like coming up with a plan, um, putting the plan together, getting all the, all that was, I mean, that's what I did for a while. So that was kind of, that, that was enjoyable, uh, time consuming, but enjoyable. And so once that was done, I was like, oh, cool. 
but then I had to go find a bank, so that was a tough part. Um, so I'd say that was like phase two was finding a bank that was willing to fund this thing. Yeah. So I went to like five or six different banks before I finally found one. Go to a local small bank if you're looking for a small business loan. Um, if you're working with like multi-millions, uh, yeah, your bigger banks will be more interested. But as far as like getting a small business loan, your smaller banks are going to be a lot easier to work with and a lot more interested in helping you. So there's that tip there. Um, so I got a bank to fund it. And then uh, part of the process for closing is I had to have a signed lease agreement. And so like, okay, well, it's time to do that. So they, hit, they set me up with a realtor, a really good realtor, um, Jacob over at Lee and Associates, if you're listening. Probably not. But. Shout out to Jacob. <laughs> Shout out to Jacob. Uh, super good dude. Uh, was on top of everything. And uh, nothing, we couldn't have done anything different. But it took us probably a good eight to ten visits to different spaces we put probably five or six lois in which is a letter of intent um so we'd go look at a space and i'd you know i'd be like oh man this is perfect this would be awesome it's in my budget size is right everything's everything looks good we put an loi in and as soon as the uh, landlord would find out that i'm a startup that is backed by the sba it was just kind of like we'll uh, we'll wait for the next guy so it was kind of it, it was just persistence really that'd be my tip there it was just kind of keep going keep putting LOIs in I, I just would I'd find a space wouldn't get married to it but we put an LOI in and then you know this one I'm in now the landlord's awesome super awesome dude I've um, been doing been in commercial real estate managing buildings for a long time uh, super accommodating and was very interested in the business and that was the thing most of these places you go to you won't uh, interact with the landlord um, you'll just interact with the realtor and so I got lucky super lucky uh, the day we showed up there he was there doing some work so he got to, and the, I think the realtor was late or something, running behind five minutes or so. So I got to sit there and talk to the landlord for 10, 15 minutes, kind of tell him a little bit, a little bit about who I was and kind of all but begged him to, to give yeah. me a chance, uh, really. And so that's just kind of how that, that, a little bit of luck there, but persistence really see. won the day there. So how, like, how long do you think it took you to find this location? Uh, I mean, it, it, in the grand scheme of things, of what I've been going, on, what's been going on with it all, all the planning and everything, not that long. It took about five weeks. That's awesome. See, see. But, but, um, but that, but the total process. I'm, I'm sitting in about a year and a half right now from, from yeah. when I started putting pen to paper. So. I mean, it is. I also do find it very lucky that you managed to talk to the landlord because I know mm -hmm. that you know, getting in contact with you know those guys can be very hard. So you, you really did luck out. Yeah. Well, him the first time. With big spaces like that, yeah. there's lots of money on the line. Um, there, you're, there's filters. Yeah. Exactly. There's, yeah. yeah. So they've, they've got, they don't interact with everybody that comes through a space. But Gene, my, my landlord, mm -hmm. just kind of, he's a good dude. He's, he's very involved with his tenants. And that's so. awesome, man. That's cool. That's always a great thing to have. That's awesome. Yeah. See, persistence, keep at it type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Just like the skills you learn <laughs> going to college. Yeah. Doing classes you don't want to do. What are you going to use photography for then? Uh, so, Advertising is a huge part of any business, really, especially right. a service-based business with a physical brick-and-mortar location like we have, um, and it's that can get expensive. And I've always been into photography, always been passionate about it. Um, right. Did it, a few classes before uh, military in high school, and um, and then just kind of fell. I, I brought a camera with me on a couple of my deployments and yeah. got some cool pictures, and just always kind of like stayed in touch with it, but never really went in depth with it, and then. Um, with Instagram growing to where it has nowadays and all that stuff. And I just wanted to be able to take my own pictures. Yeah. And um, so I figured it'd be a really good uh, outlet for me yeah. to A, use my GI Bill, but B, um, learn really the ins and outs of product photography and lighting. And yeah. like, I, I met you, so yeah. we, we did that video together and that thing turned out awesome. Yeah. So it's, it's all kind of starting to translate and, and show its, its uh, face and, and benefit that so far. One of my, uh beliefs i don't know if it's accurate or not and honestly i really am a strong believer in this like if, if you're if you've experienced any kind of like as a veteran anybody th thinking to go to school or anything like that i really suggest trying some kind of art mm -hmm. while you're going to school maybe for tires or videography any kind of art that would like balance everything out for you like cause you you you're doing business and, yeah. and that's a lot of stress i'm guessing uh what do you mean like just all you have to deal with the entrepreneur uh, paperwork, all that stuff. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure like that's a lot of like a lot on your table, but I mean, you're used to that. But you need an outlet as well. Yeah, you need a some creative kind of outlet. Creative yeah. outlet, just to not be overwhelmed by, like the black and white. 
because life is just more of a gray, you know, type of thing. No, I, I see what you're saying. Um, I don't know, not to sound too cocky, but uh, I love, I, I enjoy the, the chaos of, yeah. of a business, trying to track all these things and make sure you're, you're getting in touch with this person or making sure you're tracking this order, this, right, this right. construction, or the, like just so it's, it's a lot of stuff going on. For me, honestly, the hardest part was waiting. Yeah. Uh, Cause I had this business plan done, like done, completely edited, yeah. done about a year ago. That's so awesome. So about six months of planning with it and, and getting a mentor and kind of, going through different things and a lot of research. Um, I thought six months was, you know, more than enough. And so I was, I was right. I thought, okay, here's my plan. Like, give me the money. And so it just, it took a long time for the bank to get their stuff together. And small banks usually typically work pretty slow yeah. uh, with something like this, just because of all the due diligence. And I also went through, the, uh, we, I got backed by the SBA, which is the Small Business Administration. Uh, and so as a veteran, they have some pretty good programs. So they backed my loan. Um, so that was that's a government agency, and no government agency really does anything too fast. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was tough. Yeah, and that's the funny part. Just it's waiting. like yeah, the waiting part. I, I I love how we like we hate waiting, but we're so used to it because we always had that hurry up and wait mentality. Yeah. Get here at certain min, certain time, and then we have to wait longer for some odd reason. Yep. Fifteen minutes prior to wait. Yeah. I mean, gu gunny timed. Yeah. <laughs> Getting gunny timed. So it's just funny, like the waiting part. It's like yeah, it's I'm the same way. I hate waiting. It's like. What yeah, is I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, what, what let's am I go. For? Let's put this. Yeah. And I didn't. I didn't. I mean, like you, Ryan. I love hanging out with you because yeah. you're like really like laid back about it. It's like you're like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude. I need to pick your brain on how to like chill a little bit. I more. mean, I I get that. Like in my experience, I've just learned that it's easier to be patient with things rather than you know, yeah, yeah, harsh, you know, rush things. But also, I've never opened up a business before, so I have no yeah. idea like the stresses of that, like had, if you already have a plan as well and yeah. you want to get it started. So yeah, I don't know what, Yeah, I, I feel like I would probably not be that patient in that scenario. Well, I mean, my, my wife, you met her, uh, she's, well, she's a big part of this whole thing. Um, so she, we bounce a lot of ideas off each other and, and yeah. we've done most of this together. Um, and we have a, a saying that we very regularly kind of recite back to each other if we're starting to get a little too antsy and it's, uh, mistakes love rushed decisions i love that so that's it, awesome because yeah, awesome. like some of the stuff like i've had this like i said i've had i had my original business plan typed out and edited and done you know over a year ago probably at this point and uh there is still things in it that have changed yeah. um i got to that point i was gonna do this and then paused took a breath and was like ah that's not gonna work for this or there's a better way to do that and then yeah. move forward so if I would have just rushed through everything, I probably would have made some pretty big mistakes. Yeah. You know, I'm glad that you know, I'm glad that you did and you took the time to sit through and think these things through. It shows that you're uh, you're really passionate about this idea and you wanted to go through yeah. well. Yeah, well, I, yeah, it's it, there's a, there's a lot on the line. Um, mm -hmm. There is, but there isn't. Uh, getting my personal finances and the personal side of the house all in order and making sure that if this thing doesn't work out, it's not going to affect my kids mm -hmm. and right. what yeah, exactly. they what they're eating for dinner or where they're staying at night. So um, that was kind of the first and foremost. How can we do that? And so with the help of my wife and everything, we've been able to achieve that. But uh, so the business is kind of autonomous. But yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I mean, I, I got bigger plans than just this business. Um, this is just kind of the start of, of everything see, that I'm trying to do. So, so the main reason, honestly, uh, I brought Alex and I asked Alex because I just want to show people like all the interesting people that go to this school, not just like people that you know are students aren't doing really much but just working. But we have people here that go are actually starting businesses on their own and still going to school and have. A wife and two kids and a cool dog. And, uh, awesome she, she's my uh, outlet. Yeah, my, awesome yeah, dog. And plus, you're active, right? You're doing all these crazy hiking stuff, but you're trying to come up with like. That's kind of my um, my. What do you call? Oh no, sorry, you didn't say that. I did, but uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, about the dog being my outlet. It, me and her go on adventures all the time. Yeah. If it does get too overwhelming, there's just too much going on. A lot of times, if I just go do like a hike or a run, yeah, um, it just kind of clears everything up being active really helps honestly just i'm a i'm a big proponent on being active getting out there doing something uh it's really good for you but oh, yeah. you know hiking or you know getting out there just stress reliever and stuff like that but just putting that in there it's my show so i can do whatever i want <laughs> mm -hmm. just joking all right guys uh 
Uh, Alex, I really appreciate you coming in and talking. It's a lot of fun. It's really interesting hearing your story and what you're trying to do, especially I can't wait to uh, see what you're going to put out there for your photography Yeah. and uh, promoting stuff. Because, I, I, I mean, just the video, doing the video with you was a lot of fun. So yeah. I can't. We'll do, we're, we got a lot more to do. Yeah. Can't imagine what you can do with uh, just your photography is that doing that yeah. in there as well. Um, is there anything you want to promote, uh, put in your Instagram or anything like that? Sure. Like, yeah. yeah. So uh, the business, the name is Panoramic CQB, CQB, um, Close Quarter Battle. That's what it stands for. But uh, Panoramic being the main attractor of our business, which is the ground Panoramic night vision goggles, the four tubed GPMVGs. Um, so we got a pair of those for rent. But so the business name, Panoramic CQB, um, that's our website name or Facebook name, Instagram name. Um, you, if you type that in, you'll find us. Um, but yeah, we'll be. We're we just got our space down by uh, Mrs. B's, uh, right at 72nd oh, and Dodge. Yeah. Yeah, we're right next to Pepper Jack. So we'll, our targeted opening uh, is January 14th. So hopefully everything sticks to plan and we'll be right. open for business around then. Remember, January 14th is coming up. I can't believe that's coming up. Dude. Yeah, it's like it's wow. quick right now. We're almost done. Yeah, we're oh just, my goodness. A few, a few more things to do and it'll be ready to open. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, MCC Let's Talk. I'm Alex, that's Ryan, and then hello, Alex. Hello. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, I really appreciate you coming in. All right, see you guys soon. Bye. Yep. <laughs>